What's going on, YouTube? Man, we gotta talk about this situation with Cameron, Mace, and Jay Prince. It has the potential to get really explosive, dog. So, for those of you that don't know what's going on, apparently Shakur is a boxer and he had a fight recently. And apparently, you know, Cameron and Mace felt like he wasn't up to snuff. You know what I'm saying? They felt like his, 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 you know, his activity in the ring was born. Felt like the fight was born to watch. And, you know, they're a sports commentating show. So they commented on, you know, and shared their thoughts on what they thought about his performance. And apparently Jay Prince didn't like that. Jay Prince has a message for both of y'all with your comments after what you guys had to say about Shakur. He said, numbers don't lie, haters do. Let their haters say that he's boring and nobody wants to watch him. Sorry to tell you, it's just a select few of you haters. As you can see, there's proof that he has the number one ratings in any fight on ESPN this year, the top three ratings since 2022. And to all of you haters who want to escalate that hate outside of the ring, I'm Shakur's manager and I handle all his business outside of the ring. In other words, Cam and Mace, I will fade all his shots and take all bets. So y'all heard what Jay Prince had to say, you know, and he was targeting and aiming his comments at Cameron and Mace. So check out what Mace, Mace's response was to to Jay Prince and, and how Cameron responded as well. <laughs> Chill, mm, mm, mm. I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. You going to take all his fades and and take all his shots and you handle everything out the ring. All right. So then we talking to you then, all right? <laughs> we starting with you. Since you the big homie, we starting with you. That's how it goes around here. Um, I, I want to just start off by saying you are so, like, lacking self-awareness. Like, when you, when you give such a lackluster performance... And then you think you can make threats to people because you gave a lackluster performance? Pause. You don't have the right to tell me what I should like or to tell Cam what he should like. That's that's not your place. Like, art is subjective, right? So if art is subjective and I don't like something, you, you can't really get mad at us because we don't like something. And you're standing there with two i mean two hall of fame boxers that are constantly letting their hands go so i think is is crazy that andre ward let his hands go terence crawford definitely let his hands go and then you walk out with these boxers and you don't tell the next guy to let his hands go this is this is a, a lapse of judgment and i'm gonna tell you another thing when you're dealing with older people they're the last to know that things have changed. We not your little niggas. Like the way you talk it, I don't, I don't get what you mean. We're not your little niggas. Like for real, all that big homie stuff, that's for little niggas. Little niggas have big homies. We're not little niggas. So we don't even respect big homies. I know killer doesn't. And for me, I never respected niggas in the streets. That's why I always got the problems I got. Niggas would tell me, Mace, chill. No, chill for what? Who is this nigga? <laughs> That's how I feel listening to this, man. Like, I want to respect you, but I can't. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if I got a lord, like the dudes that raised me, if I was out of pocket, they would tell me I'm out of pocket. They wouldn't let me put them on a crash out mission. They would say, yo, Mace, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. Around here... We don't send niggas to do nothing for us. We don't pay niggas to handle our problems. Mm -hmm. You got to put in your own work around here, Lord, man. That's what you were supposed to tell them. You can't go out here and talk crazy and then send me on a mission. Mm -hmm. Nah, this is where the game got messed up. When young niggas started sending old niggas out. And just because this little ignorant nigga got a few dollars... He make all of you that's supposed to be real run after his mission. Mm. This is a problem, Jay Prince. And I'm going to tell you like this. If you're 60 years old mm. and you're trying to be a street nigga, <laughs> you failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. I'm telling you this. And I, I, I'm, I stand. My name is Mace. I stand by this message. Hmm. Hmm. Boy, Maze didn't hold back. Y'all heard what he had to say. If you 60 years old and you still trying to be a street nigga, 
you fail. You know, I wholeheartedly agree with me. You dig? At some point, we all mature. At some point, we all put away foolish things. And Mace hit the nail on the head and spoke very eloquently in his delivery. Let's listen to what Cameron had to say. The next day is when Jay Prince just say what she wrote. Hey, yo, my man, listen, James. Let me explain something to you, bro. Mace said it exactly. You 60, nigga. You 60. What are you talking about? What are you talking Bro. I lost mad respect for you because I used to have mad respect for you. When you had Shakur with you, when you line, um, young boy NBA up. Why the fuck you got Shakur with you? And this is why he acting like that. This is exactly why he acting like that. Uh, talking about you got young boy NBA umbrellas and his keys to car. Young boy NBA told y'all niggas eat a dick. This is what he said. This is what young boy NBA said. Wack 100 was the most disrespectful. Wild disrespect. I ain't even gonna repeat this shit back where Hunter said. Mad disrespect. Drake is beefing with Kendrick Lamar as we speak. I have not heard. This is the first time Drake got into some shit and I hear you say shit to Kendrick Lamar now. Why do you think that you could tell us what we can and cannot say, my nigga? Control your nigga. Control that nigga. Ain't nobody gonna tell a nigga, get the strap and then we gonna sit there and be like, hey, hey, I think we, we should shut up. Nah, nigga. And WAG 100 was so disrespectful towards Jay Prince, bro. Man, y'all ain't gonna believe what he had to say. Man, check this out. You could at least get an old man an apology. I don't owe that jazz no apology. <laughs> Tell him go dig his dead ass mama and suck her. Yeah. He's yeah. really like you, you look, bro. Gave him check this out, bro. Hey, no, look. Hey, no, look, no, look hey, homie. I'm gonna be real. Listen, homie. Listen. You know we don't see eye to eye. You cannot be a friend of that man because as soon as you bring it up, I'm going to get disrespected. Now, with Jay Prince coming at Cameron and Mace, I really didn't understand what the energy was behind his comments. You know, why did he take it the way that he took it? Um, obviously, he's Shakur's manager and any viral comments about Shakur and any negative light that is shined on Shakur obviously it's gonna hurt his opportunity to earn sponsorships you know make money things like that and you know with that being said if he's not earning money that hurts and hits Jay Prince's pockets you dig so you know Jay Prince is probably coming at it from from an angle of you know man trying to trying to keep his stock up you, you feel me um but I just think that Jay Prince kind of went a little left with his comments. You know what I'm saying? Like, why why it gotta be taken outside of the ring? Keep it all, keep it in the space that it's in. You know, like it, there's no need for it to get to a point where things gotta get physical. You know, keep it on wax, you dig. I don't understand why he had to make it the way that he made it, you dig. But this this situation has potential to get ugly because you know Cameron and Mace, they're not going to back down from nothing. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to back down. And I feel like it's going to put a lot of pressure on either side to make a move. And I think that a lot of times, dog, these situations don't end well. And the thing with Jay Prince, he's supposed to be an OG. Cameron and Mace wasn't even coming at it from an angle of trying to get physical or trying to be on those streets on those street stuff you know what i'm saying they just really was just commenting on what they saw and they felt like in their opinion shakur's out showing was born you know and i think that they're entitled to their opinion and for og man you know with the respect that he has i you know I, i'm kind of shocked that he came at it from this angle because i feel like if anybody's supposed to be level-headed about it, you dig, it's supposed to be Jay Prince. He's been in the game for, for a long time. So I don't quite understand why he came at them like that. But Jay Prince Jr. did respond, so let's listen to what he had to say. You be f***ing me up, right? Because try to glorify bullshit. Like, you just try to glorify soft shit. You just try to glorify niggas that ain't that it is flaw be sure to like comment and subscribe nigga we know when it's flow when we deal with them in the streets we know when they flow like we understand that they flow 
We don't capitalize off their flawness though because we'll capitalize off real shit. We ain't gonna capitalize off no being flawed, weak as hell. If we understand what a weak as hell, then he a street, call himself a street. He could be a street, but he's still weak as hell. We don't capitalize and try to glorify this shit now. We gonna sit and have conversations about niggas as strong as us. We don't have conversations about niggas as weak as hell. Man, so look, y'all jump in the comment section, dog. Let me know what y'all thoughts are about this situation. Man, Mason Cameron are not going, dog. They standing on business. They standing ten toes down. They standing on business, dog. They not going. Do y'all think it's going to end well? Or is shit about to go left? This your boy Joe, man. Joe Squad. Y'all know what it is. Hit that subscribe button. Till the next video. Man, I'm out.